Who are you? My name is Marianne Carr. I'm from Woonsocket, Rhode Island, and I've been here all my life. What is the Camino? What is the Camino? The Camino is a 500 mile plus voyage from the border of France and Spain to the other end of Spain. It's one of the hardest and most brilliant things I've ever done. It's, to be more specific if I can, it's, it's gorgeous scenery, amazing people, really. It's where I learn to find myself. It's when I found out about others, when I realized what humans have in common and where we're different. It's where I found the meaning of why I'm here and why we all are really here, what our purpose as humans are. And that's what you find. It's not the walk that really matters on the Camino. It's finding yourself. That is the Camino. Did you travel on this journey alone? No, of course not. Um, my mom, she's a very open-minded, very awesome woman, but she wouldn't, I, she wouldn't let me go to Paris and then Spain and walk backpack all by myself. I traveled with my cousin uncle, Matt Anderson. He lived in um, Ohio. That's where he grew up. He started working and he really didn't like it anymore, so he started traveling the world. He went from India, I stayed there for such a long time, to China, to Thailand, to all of Europe basically, all of the United States except for a couple of states. Um, he's like this amazing man and I'm so thankful for him because he to take me on this journey um, with him. This, is his, this was his third Camino, so he's walked this two other times. So. When, when you began on the Camino, what was the first day of walking like? It was hard. That day, I redefined what exactly hard was. Um, I imagined hard as running for as much as I could, and then once I felt like it was too much, I stopped. This was a whole new hard. This was 20 miles up a mountain. The mountain was called the Pyrenees. I didn't really register my brain until I was doing it. And it was really ridiculously hard. First day through the mountains. And I think I'm going to die. Four or five hours into this, 15 miles in, I started crying. I felt this complete and utter defeat inside of me, like I couldn't do this. I started having this panic attack as I'm sitting there. I was calling out for my mom. I was praying to God, which I have never really done before, that this pain would end and that this would be over and this was a dream and this was happening and I wasn't here, I was in my room, I was clean, I was not, it was just, I didn't want to be there right there at that moment because I was in such excruciating physical and mental pain. I have never been that homesick in my life. What else propelled you to keep going besides the feeling of that you needed to keep walking? Seeing my family.
sorry. What's your, what's your name? Sara. Sara? <laughs> All right, what's, where are you from? Actually, I forgot Italy. to ask And how old are you? 22. 22, wow. So what brought you out here to do this? Do you run this or do you just volunteer? No, no I'm just, let's say volunteering is not the word I like to use because this is a different kind of place. It's not about a business yeah. that you have to run. It's just about giving pilgrim a place to heal and to chill out, relax, mm -hmm. share. What do you love most about it? About here, so the thing that I mm, prefer, honestly, is that uh, it gives you the possibility to have a human exchange that is something really, really special. You know, everybody's here for a different reason, but yeah. usually there's something deep going on, you know. You make kind of like and a connection. It's nice when you can share your own experience with others and recognize yourself in the experiences of yes. other people. And in this way of sharing, you know, you really see that the more you give, the more you receive. The more you can give love and mm -hmm. give your experience and give yourself yeah. to the others, the more you you receive yeah. from the others. Yeah. I mean, the greatest gift maybe I've received from the way is to start to learn how to just feel, listen to myself, what do I want to do? It's not about, because it's easy to do the way, having this mentality, I have to reach Santiago. You don't mm -hmm. have to do anything. Camera rolling. This is scene number one, take one. What's your we'll name? We'll go now in five. Oh my god. Oh. Four. It's okay. You're supposed to be going. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right, ready? How are we gonna achieve that? Yes. We'll be able to 40 seconds of you eating a brownie. <laughs> 